Ujumbe huu unaletwa kwako na ni idhaa Jukwala Radio na mitandao ya kijamii na vijana kwa vijana. Tunachunguza sababu za vurugu na msimamo mkali katika kaunti ya Nairobi na kutafuta suluhisho la ubunifu ambao unasababisha jamii yenye amani na mshikamano. Lililo dhaminiwa na ofisi ya komishona wa kaunti ya Nairobi. Leo katika kipindi chetu cha kusisimua ni idhaa tunaangazia kuhusu kukatwa kwa habari au mawasiliano juu ya fursa ama kwa Kiingereza opportunity disconnect kila kukicha mbogi ina graduate kutoka colleges na campus lakini wanaishia kuhangaika mitaani bila ajira yoyote je kinachochangia haswa kuendeleza tatizo la ukosefu wa ajira miongoni mwa vijana ni nini Leo hapa studioni tuna bahati ya mtende kupata wasanaa mgeni wetu Bilusi Waidhaka. Bilusi ni meneja wa programu na utaratibu kwenye shirika la Yarden East Africa. Ni mwanachama katika kamati ya uendeshaji shirika la ICPVE, mtaalamu katika uwezeshaji wa jinsia na vijana na pia ni mwanachama shirika la Sisters Without Borders. Bilusi kwa sasa pia ndiye mwenyekiti wa shirika la Youth Work Kenya. Shirika chini ya mwavuli la IGAD. Tuandamane hadi studio zetu upande wa pili ili tusikie maoni yake bilusi. Mwenzangu Mary, ngoma ipo kwenu. Karibuni. Oya mbogi, hope mko fiti, hope mko ital, hope mko rada. Na leo kwenye studio tuko na Gialemo wa Power, anaitwa Lucy. Hey Lucy, welcome to the studio. Umechangamka sister. Santi. Sana at least nataka utupatie background yako kiasi tell us a bit about yourself. Kama vile umesema anaitwa Lucy hizo majina zingine za ID ni Wanjiro Ithaka uh, nafanya kazi na organization inaitwa Yarden tuko based hapo pangani uh, Yarden in full ni youth art development and entrepreneurship network meaning tunawak na mavijana uh, pia na sit kwa steering committee ya IGAD uh, Center of Excellence for Preventing and Countering Violent Extremism and Eco Best Djibouti I'm um, also a trained specialist on youth empowerment and engagement. I tell us a bit about your story, kidogo to background. I have worked on youth empowerment and engagement for the last uh, I think 13 years. Empowerment ni so that kijana anajisemea kwa sababu shida ya youth um, Kenya eh, ni kusemewangwa. Kila mtu anajua mashida zetu lakini hakuna mtu tuambia tujisemee mashida zetu. Kila mtu tusemea. So empowerment ni muhimu such that eh, kijana anaweza simama na articulate shida zake zote una get community you na represent vijana kukosa kazi ni issue big mtaa yako eh, i think unemployment si mtatu yangu i think Kenya mzima uh, unemployment is a, is a big problem eh? so according to you what are the major causes zenye zinafanya ni kama vijana wanakosa kazi i think reason unemployment is such a big problem eh? for starters the fact that kila mtu ngoja serikali iko ndio the biggest employer unajua you see sustainable eh? gava so, yezi employ kila mtu <laughs> lakini kila mtu uenda shule na mentality ya na maliza niandikwe job na gava i mean inaweza kuwa na positions ngapi for all the youth in Kenya eh? second masomo yetu haitu training kupata skill una get see skill practical that such that ukitoka um, shule unaweza ji employ na hiyo skill unapata eh alafu pia atu training um, students wetu eh that akimaliza shule anaweza ji employ ndio apate opportunity ya ku employ other people so we are in a in a revolving cycle of desperateness kwa sababu we are not achieving what we need through education alafu sisi wote utaro blue collar eh kila mtu ataka kuvaa suti sisi wote tuwezi vaa suti tukivaa suti nani atatengeneza ata gari zikiaribika You know nani atafagia nani atatengeneza sufuria so i think you inachangia nga sana eh, unemployment all of peers unajua policies zetu huko they are not geared toward employment ama um, kujiandika na unajua sisi wote tukaweza kuwa na away ya kujiandika eh. so na tunapunguza unemployment eh. but policies zetu hazija hazi embracing mtu anaji self employed hiyo ndio shida noma tena sana tukizidi na lucy nataka tusikize skit fulani iko hapa alafu tukirudi tutanipatia opinion yako on that au sio sawa sawa Eh hey, Rashid, ndio hizi forms mzee. Nimezipata tu sahi kutoka Youth Fund, sasa tunaweza zijaza na tu apply tupate do tu expandika au shibuda. Walikuwa right kama hizi maswali zote, natwa get it do. Unamaanisha? 
keki kuna maswali mingi ma requirements kibao ku get to ido atoto boys zote sasa utajuaje usipojaribu lazima tujaribu kabla tu give up cheki mimi niko na plan beta eh niko na alifu maana alinishow ako na mguu flani hiyo link wa si rosafi eh ofuk ah hata ndio ana kam nilimshow apitie mustafa ah maze tumefry kuona men ah vipi eh tumefry nimechanganyikiwa hapa kiasi rashid Ah, nini na kuchanganya kama Mustafa. Um guys manzea amini atuko na connection ule um guys upatie my thanks sisi ma grants Rosafi. Hey, connection iko. Niko na rafiki yangu bana mwana biashara successful sana warabuni. Anataka kupitisha hata hiyo busy yake ifikie my youth kama nyinyi. Eh? Na yeye anadai? Hakuna kitu hata anadai. Hakuna siju kuja za form ama vitu kama hivyo. Mimi kama mtu wake wa ndani, mimi nitakupatia tu cheda tu kidogo. Na itakuwa tu ni hivyo. Apo sawa eh cheki yani plan fit kama ah uh, wazi Mustafa mimi na Rashid wacha tubonge alafu tuta get back sasa kuna nini ya kudiscuss huo msee yako na do hata ako expand busy yake hiyo plan inaweza cheki mimi nitaacha nyoa William discuss hii issue um, kisha decide mzee mtandungia tu waya safi wazi Mustafa tukuvutia wewe ni mbana wewe hiyo deal ilikuwa tu imeiva tungengara nayo buda hakuna kitu kaya kiroma ya bure hapa kaya banoth bro ah, kama si lazima ushuku kila mtu kwa maisha mimi nasema tu mzee sasa zile deal iko fiti fikiria mara mboegze mbona kuna mse hapo hivyo anapatia na doo hivyo tu eish buda wacha tutole doo yetu jasho tujazizi ma forms na niko sure gavai tatupatia doo na pia najua mazii itakuja kutuletea nguri kama hiyo doo ya mustafa that inakaa leo haina strings attached lakini kesho itakuja kutuletea nguri Rashid anafurahishwa na dili au mpango anayopewa na Mustafa wa kutengeza pesa nyingi kwa haraka tena kwa urahisi kule warabuni. Kama rafikia na ushuku huu mpango wake Mustafa wa kumekmado mob vi easy. Lakini je, mpango mzuri na safi kama huu Rashid anaopewa na Mustafa ni wa kulifikiria kulihusu mara mbili? Turege upande wa pili wa studio zetu. What do you think about that skit? I think in a, um, in a reflect reality as quiz yeah. My youth wapenda shortcut na wapenda vitu za haraka yeah? So I, I can see that scenario happening. Yeah? No, 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 kama kuna ma recruiters wengi huku nje kama huyo mstafa wenye wanakujaga wana take advantage ya my youth wenye wako vulnerable ama wanakaa mtu anawaambia zile hapa kuna shortcut chukua hii shortcut. Youth by the virtue that kijana ni kijana yeah? ni easy ya kumtake advantage ukishajua vile vijana ukua for starters eh mtu akikuja kuambia ako na an easy way ya kumake do vijana wengi wafikiria ngi twice yani we, we are used to instant gratification and that is the downfall ya my youth wengi eh? na pia ma recruiter washajua so wanajuanga unataka kungara kama wende ukadundo uko instagram i will make you rich overnight but hiyo critical thinking ndio ina lack ya my youth kujiuliza aje unajua how is it possible that neza mka millionaire kesho unajua si possible and is the youth fund that yani ni ngumu sana ku apply for that youth fund ama ni uendelea kwa hiyo sector so wacha ni yake hivi eh? kuna kuanga na youth fund na kuna women fund eh? ukienda kwa ofisi za women fund permanently busy wamama wanachukua pesa <laughs> hey, wamama utumizo pesa proper but ukienda youth fund uptake ni kidogo na pia kurudisha hiyo pesa pia wanyurudisha ndio kidogo eh? kwa sababu youth wana hii mentality that it's hard. Na ukweli si rahisi si ka process kadogo sana eh? but also it's not that hard. Kwa mtu ako motivated na mtu anajua kitu anataka eh? it's not that hard. Unaweza advise mbogi yenye nasikiza show why they apply youth fund and if so mbona unaweza ambia ndio hii apply? I mean as advice my youth to apply your youth fund eh? one good reason here. Yeah? Um, it's not that hard to apply. Hizo requirements mingi. Second, anyanga interest the amount you borrow is the same amount you give back eh? Na kama biashara yako inaeleweka That is the best thing you can do for your business. Unajua? Unaweza tupatie examples za my youth wenye wamepata hizo funds na wameenda wameanzisha biz ama wameenda wame support biz zao. Eh, najua my youth kibao sana wame apply hizo funds na zikawafanyia vitu kubwa sana. Uh, kuna group inaitwa Pricing iko huko Majengo, wamejenga flat. Kuna watu wengi najua huko Madhare mtu mpaka ameka ako na farm nzima na amechukua tu na hiyo youth fund. Kuna watu wamejenga mabiashara zikakuwa so big that they employ a lot of other people eh? ikwangi fiction unajua pia my youth wengi kwa sababu ashinanga mimi sijui mtu yote ashai apply 
but have you really looked alafu kwa nini usiapply kwa kwanza true that na kuna ma opportunities zingine huko nje zina exist za my youth na wanaweza take advantage of those opportunities as huko nje sasa wewe ndio umejua kuna opportunities mingi sana kwa ministry of youth yani kwa serikali ya but for some reason is opportunity as if young people ama young people hawajuangi kuna is opportunity kama i'll give you an example if you ukaenda kwa ministry of youth ama ministry of labor when a schemes from international scholarships to international job placements eh, to so many internship opportunities to yani kuna opportunities to kibao ni vile i think disconnect ukuja pia watu wale wameandikwa kwa easy ministries eh? na wenye wameandikwa pia kwa county government eh? they don't know how to communicate is opportunities kwa my youth alafu pia nao my youth wanaenga initiative ya kujifikisha kuuliza ni opportunities gani ziko huku zetu naweza taka uambie my youth one is at the advantage with examples ya hizo opportunities unasema kwa ministries i'm sure kwa kila mtae kuna youth office imagine eh, siku moja tu kwa umeka enda enda visit ask by the way kuna nini inaweza in, nisaidia and then you can see all the opportunity by the way kweli acha nikwambie sijui kwa nini politicians wetu ushinda tu kimek promises eh? but hawasemangi already what exist sijui ni pia hawajuangi but wanashinda tu ki promise but hakuna mtu waambia youth already kuna vitu zina exist that unaweza take advantage of eh no matena sana my youth mejisikilia opportunities zimeja huko nje nyinyi ndo mnani kujina huo na kwenda kuzikemba wacha tusikie vile mbugi nasema huko nje alafu tunakaa mthrosio sasa kwanza ningemshauri uh, ategemee mola ya pili uh, katika kulingana na masomo yake aweke bidii na kwa kika e, Mungu anaweza fungua njia na kwa kika ile kosi yenye amefanya e, kipatikana anaweza fanya kazi vizuri na ajimudu kimaisha e, vile watu wametoka mbali kila mmoja na mwingine hakuna historia vijana vijana kwanza mimi niko na challenge kwa vijana vijana wanasema kazi hakuna ndio kazi hakuna lakini kazi iko wakipewa vijana wengi si waaminifu watapewa kazi kidogo kidogo utamnulia uba baada ya miezi tatu gari amepiga piga ameharibu ana collide na polisi vijana tuwe na msingi bora tuwe na tabia nzuri ukipewa kazi thamini kazi tunza kazi kazi ikutunze baada ya hapo ndio hata kufunga kazi yako utaendelea bila hivyo itakuwa mchezo wa paka na panya vijana changamoto juu yenu mjiendeleshe vizuri ni hayo tu lakini pia serikali iweke opportunities za kazi yes ndio vijana pia waweze kujikimu kimaisha vumilie bora asikufe roho maisha ni kukazana na kujaribu usikae kwa nyumba ukae ungoje kazi ni utoke huku nje utafute kibarua hata kama ni ndogo ndogo ili unaweza fanya okay kijana ambaye ako nyumbani na hana kazi na mshauri awe na subra na imani okay asikuwe na mambo na mambo ya future ni Mungu ndio anapanga Unanielewa mambo ya future ni Mungu anapangaga ile tu ajiweke moral na hazo na akipata kitu asikule yote anaweka kidogo ya baadaye kula tano weka tano na kukaribisha tena kwenye makala haya yani idha makala ya kukuhimiza wiki jana kuwa sauti ya jamii yako hii leo kwenye studio zetu tumemwalika bilusi wa idhaka ili kwa pamoja tujadili kuhusu ili swala la kukatika kwa mawasiliano juu ya fursa yani opportunity disconnect kijana je umesikia ma opportunities ambazo zimegusiwa kwamba gavaa tayari imeshaweka ila ni wewe kijana umedoze hujitumi kuzitafuta Mary na kuomba uendeleze mjadala noma tena sana umesikia vile mbogi huko nje imepatia advice to my youth what do you think about venyawa sio amebonga i think hizo advice ni po eh? Uh, for starters i think one ile advice nimesikia hapo muhimu eh vijana wa faithful kwa job eh? kuna kazi kuna opportunities za job lakini my youth was squeeze ukimwandika job leo either atahipa na do ama atakuja siku mbili siku ya tatu arudi una, una get ingine amesema muhimu ni kukufa roho hiyo kukufa roho ufanya vijana wengi wajingishe kwa vitu noma noma eh even ndivyo mtu unasikia anga ali end up somalia kwa sababu give up haraka akachukua the first thing that ali aliona so i think that is very good advice na wewe kama lucy mm-hmm. unaweza advise aje huyo youth mwenye ako ana job uko nje na mwenye hayuko ako worried about future yake ajui future yake kesho itakuwaje wewe kama lucy unaweza advise aje huyo youth mika lucy advice naweza patia 
yutako iko nje na hustle eh? ni one ukaza rudi shule kasa iko na tivet manze rudi rudi tu pate yo skill eh? kwa sababu 844 iko tupatia anga practical skills eh? as a job na siku hizi jobs mingi zenye zina pay ni hizo practical eh alafu usidharau blue collar blue collar ikakufanya millionaire kabla au white collar ikufanya si ndio so if you get an opportunity take advantage of your opportunity kabisa kabisa eh haya naweza taka utupatie practical advice kwa wale ma youth wenye hawana job na wenye wako underemployed eh? na kuna kitu ulisema tivet unajua wasi wengi maybe waja understand tivet ni nini so hapo pia unaweza wa explain au waambie haya kwa tivet eh? i am sure kila mtu kwa location yao ama village yao eh? kuna vitu tulikuwa tunaitanga polytechnics eh siku hizo ndizo zinaitwa tivet institute eh? zinapatia nanga hizi technical skills eh? kama welding kama tailoring unajua vitu unatumia mkono kufanya practical example naweza patiana i think hivyo tu nimekupatia example hapa eh ukianza business usianze na ni kitu ya kushikilia until job ikame eh? ichukulie ni job already uko na job kwa sababu hiyo kitu ndogo unafanya inaweza grow your employee watu wengine so that you don't have to to wait to be employed you can also be an employer usingoje tu ku, ku employiwa alafu pia tusidharau kazi kama vijana anakuambia na kudharau kazi Elimu na mwitia kazi anakuambia ai ati ati ya kufanya nini ami hiyo sio rekani by the attitude ni kitu muhimu sana kwa mavijana eh attitude ndio determine where you will go in life eh kwa sababu attitude ndio kuambia do you care what people say ama you care about your future I true that na hivyo venye umetuambia hizo practical examples ni steps gani one is undertake to look for jobs uh, kama unatafuta job eh uh, i think sai vikila kitu kwa online eh naweza kuambia uanzi hapo eh Uh, unaweza kuna kuna siku hizi nini za writing na kuna hii nini ya serikali inaitwa ajira eh? ajira ufundisha na ufanya digital trainings so that you can self employ yourself online eh? na hizo vitu za creative writing academic writing zote ziko hapo uh, second thing patia mtu CV yako kwa kuangalilie kaeleweki ndio maana witu interviews eh? third invest in yourself eh? usisho ingi hapo kifanana ni kama kwa interviews ni kama ujaoga siku tatu ama na zile nguo tu maze yani invest in how you look eh ingine soma as in by kusoma simanishi rudi shule but educate yourself on vitu zina happen kwa dunia si ndio learn trends sikuizi vitu mingi ni digital so you need to have those to practical to practical still na kupia kujua dunia inaenda inaendaje ikoaje pia uwezi kwa tu ngoja anga dunia inakupita tu hapa hata ukaulizwa sai president wa America ndani hata una idea unajua a true that sasa tukienda kukatinga your message to the youth pale nje kuna youth amika anasikiza issues hizi so your message to the youth eh, my youth message yangu ni mwache kuko entitled eh? nobody owes you anything <laughs> imagine ni dunia kuna mtu anaku owe anything amka tafuta kitu ya kufanya unajua If upati job volunteer mali if volunteer i work andisha ka kibanda yani do something because the, the more idol you are the more you are susceptible to peer pressure the more you are susceptible to how uh, watu wa recruit kwa no mambaya mbaya usiache ufike hapo si ndio so closing remarks at least be positive constructive na inspirational inspirational youth you are the majority munase youth can decide who will be the next president without needing the rest of kenyans imagine so youth to jipanga tuache kupangwa and i think tutakuwa mbele hey leo nime have fun na girl demo power tena sana ni to lucy thanks for your time what out till next time si tumeondokea hivyo natumai wewe kijana umesikia mwenyewe attitude yako ndio itakayoamua kuhusu future yako sina la ziada ila nnamalizia kwa swali letu la leo ambalo ni ikiwa wakati mmoja ulikuwa bila mapato tafadhali shiriki mawazo ya ubunifu ya kile ulichokifanya ili kupata pesa. Tunaomba utupe maoni yako kwa kutumia ujumbe mfupi bila malipo kwa nambari yetu 23375. Watu watatu watakaotuma majibu yao kwanza watapokea tano. Tutafurahi kusikia kutoka kwako. Kwa habari zaidi wasiliana na nasi mitandaoni kwenye Twitter, Facebook na YouTube kupitia handle yetu ni alama ya chini idha. Usikose kuunga na nasi tena wiki ijayo kwenye makala mengine ya kusisimua ni idha. Mimi ni mtangazaji wako Abubakar Mwenda, majali watukutane tena wiki ijayo. Papa hapa katika ni idha. Kwaheri. Ujumbe huu unaletwa kwako na ni idhaa.
Jukwala redio na mitandao ya kijamii na vijana kwa vijana. Tunachunguza sababu za vurugu na msimamo mkali katika kaunti ya Nairobi na kutafuta suluhisho la ubunifu ambao unasababisha jamii yenye amani na mshikamano. Lililo na ofisi ya komishona wa kaunti ya Nairobi.